chosen vessels what's the deal it's your main man drew tube and i'm back at you again with another video i need each and every vessel to hit that like button hit that share button and don't forget to subscribe shout out to the gcvs the galactic family and drew nation let's get right into it shall we how to know you're being watched in public by monitoring spirits and how to get over the creepy uncomfortable vibes let's talk about it look how to know you're being watched in public by monitoring spirits and how to get over the creepy, uncomfortable vibes. It is uncomfortable to be watched by people unnecessarily. All right. And we know that when you're in public, people are going to look at you. People have eyes. So don't allow people to gaslight you. People will, because you're highly intuitive and you're aware there may be people who are around you who are trying to manipulate you and gaslight you in some way already. So the fact that you're able to pick up on other people doing it, but you may not be able to pick up on the people that are close to you doing it. When you go to try to talk about these kinds of things to people, they're going to immediately gaslight you about it. If they have to keep it real with you and be honest about what you experience out in the real world, they have to keep it real with themselves with a number of things. That the fact that you're better than them, that the fact that what you're experiencing is real, and the fact that they could have possibly treated you in a manipulative way, trying to manipulate you for personal gain themselves. And we all know it's the God honest truth that that's a whole nother video. All right. But this is how you know you're being watched in public. All right. You're trying to discuss certain things with other people that you're experiencing and they're denying it and minimizing your experience. They're telling you that these things happen to them. They're telling you that these things aren't happening to you. They're telling you that these things don't happen. They're telling you that you're you're losing your mind. There's something that you're seeing is something that you may need to go get help about, but you know this is real. You know this is a real thing that is going on, all right? As real as everything that you hear, see, taste, touch, and feel, all right? So this is how you know you're being watched in public. When you go to yo, I, that you you know the you know it. Hey, when you when you hear that you you know it's about to get real. All right, when you when you are just minding your business and you're trying to go here and there, but you notice that people are doing the same things as you. People will walk into the door when you try to walk into the door and try to make it seem like a coincidence. It's all because you have a purpose and you're focused on yourself. Chosen ones have a purpose. We're focused on ourselves. We're focused on our mission. So other people are kind of like non-existent to us. When you're focused and you're on a mission and you're James Bond for what you're, for what you're doing, your James Bond is only focused on the task at hand and a possible could be would be possibly enemy. So it's like when you are when you when you are chosen, you are you have a James Bond level of focus. You have a God level of focus. And that's why the enemy, the devil is always trying to get into your peripheral. They're always trying to get you to notice them. They're always trying to get you to pay attention to them is because you have a God level focus and you have a godly glow. You have a Christ-like glow. You have a Christ mind. That Christ mind is your Christ consciousness. That's your crown. That crown is constantly shining because of your anointing, and people can see your halo and see the positive energy emanating off of your aura. People can see this positive energy just emanating off of you. That's why they're drawn to you. That's why they come near you. That's why they want to bump into you. That's why they want to uh, get get they want to get close to you, girl or boy, because you're chosen. They want to get close to you. All right, they want to touch the hem of your garment just like they did Jesus. They want to touch you and get healed. They want to bump into you and get healed. All right, they, they want to bump into you and get the answer that they've been waiting for. All right, they want to stand behind you in line and use your, your price total for the lottery number. All right, they, they want to do all these weird kind of things. All right, <laughs> they, they want to be near you to catch some synchronicity. All right, they want, to, they want to be near you to catch some universal vibes. Yes, you, the chosen, the chosen, the, 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 the chosen one, you. They want to be next to you. They want to... Um, they want to be in your vicinity because they're watching you 
and they're monitoring your spirit. All right. They're uh, observing you. Right. They're, they're trying to make you feel uncomfortable because they know it's something about you that's great. And they know you're going to do something great. And they're they're really honestly just waiting. They're watching and waiting. They're watching to see if it, when you're going to become something. They're watching to see if you became it. They're watching to see if, if, if you are going to do something special in front of them, if you're going to do something amazing. It's like they, they want to see you heal somebody, right? It's like they, they want to they see a miracle right before their very eyes. But you are the miracle right before their very eyes because of everything they've put you through. You had to sort through it psychologically because the way that they treat people is a, a is in a negative, toxic way. So the miracle that they're looking at and they're looking for is you, because if they were to be treated like you, they would have lost their mind a long time ago and ended up in a mental facility. But you, the person who has the Christ mind, the person who has the God like mind, the person who was created with the wherewithal to withstand it all. You have the power to withstand the pressure that they want that society wants to put on you because you stand out like a sore thumb. You you have the power within you to withstand the pressure because you stand out. You have the power within you to withstand the pressure because God chose you. He made you. You you are the elect. All right. God chose you. He said, you know what? I'm going to choose you. You're going to have to go through these things. You're going to have an awesome life. It's going to be stressful at times. You're going to feel like things aren't going right when they are. You're going to feel like you're wrong when you're right. You're going to feel like you're losing your mind when you're more sane than you've ever been. But it's going to work out for the greater good because you're going to see the light at the end of the tunnel. You're going to be able to wear your uh, your war helmet. You're going to be you're going to have your uh, the, your uh, your armor of valor. You're going to have your um, your, your, uh, what do they call it? Your, um, your, um, what do they call those things? You're going to have your accolades. All right. You're going to have, uh, uh, everything to show that you are spiritually and mentally equipped. All right. To, to survive and fight this spiritual battle. And that is a blessing within itself. And that is why people are watching you out in public because they know that nobody is being treated like you. They know that you're the person that they treat like crap. They know that you're the person that's targeted. See, you, you know you're targeted. People gaslight you and act like you're not targeted. Everybody knows you're targeted. Only person that didn't know was you. The only person that is is making a big deal about it is you. We're the only ones that make a big deal out of being targeted because everybody knows that we're targeted. They just gaslight us. That's why they act strange around us in public and act like we don't exist because we're special. And they can't accept that because they aren't. And they want to gaslight you. Somebody in the comments the other day was like, oh, I'm special. I'm this, I'm that. Like, bro, if you feel that way, why you got to come in the comments and try to make a mockery of it? Why don't you actually go out in the real world and be special? That's how you know what we're saying is real. People just have to gaslight us because we're a miracle. We're a walking miracle. All right, we, we, we have been treated in a way to where the person was supposed to kill themselves. We have been treated in a way to where a person was supposed to, supposed to commit suicide. We have been treated in a way to where a person was supposed to be ostracized, never speak up, sit in a corner, cry, and be depressed and lay down and die. That's what we were supposed to do, but we didn't choose that. We didn't choose to just sit down in a corner and lay down and die. We didn't choose to just sit in a bathtub and let the water run on us. We didn't choose to just sit down and be glued to a couch and become the couch. There are some people that are so depressed, they just sit down and, and, and feed, their body becomes infused with the damn couch. That ain't us. They wanted that to be us, but it ain't. Too bad, so sad. Only thing that we're infused with is the Holy Spirit and some exercise, and a gym, and some dumbbells, and a track, and some healthy eating. That's what we're infused with. We're infused with a healthy mindset for a healthy life. That's the only thing we're infused with, all right? How to know you're being watched in public. When you get out of your car, they're going to get out of their car. When you walk into the parking lot, they're going to get out of their car. When you walk behind their car, they're going to start their car. When you uh, walk in the parking lot, when you walk in front of their car, they're going to back out. They're going to pull up. They're going to rush and pull in immediately. 
This is how you know you are being watched in public. It's street theater. They play games to try to play with your brain. They're going to do all this weird stuff because they think it's cool and they're demonic and they they, they think that they're lit because they're evil. Ain't nothing lit about being evil. There's nothing lit about being evil, all right? Ain't nothing lit about being evil. They're whack and corny and miserable. And they're trying to spread some of their misery to a positive, happy, uplifted person. They're down and you're up. What 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 the hell is lit about being in hell? What the hell is lit about being down and out? There's nothing lit about being down and out and in hell. How you on earth in hell? You're on earth in heaven. They're on earth in hell. They want to mentally put you in hell underneath them. They're supposed to be underneath you. This is how you know you're being watched in public. Somebody follows you from one area to the next. They might even get there before you get there. You see somebody in a parking lot, they back out of the store next to you and they, they watch you and they drive to the store directly next to where you're going before you get there. Oh, I'm just going to follow you. I'm just going to leave from where I was at just to follow you to where you're going. And I'm going to make sure you see me when I get out of the car. And, and I'm going to I'm even going to get to the door before you and I might even possibly hold the door open for you. Hello. How are you doing? I, I'm just forcing myself on you because I was watching you the whole entire time you was outside taking care of your business, standing on business. I was watching you. So now I'm where you're at. I followed you to the parking lot. I'm, I'm, I'm getting out the car the same time as you're walking in the parking lot. I'm leaving and I'm opening the door. I might even hold the door for you. Why? Because I'm a creep. And I want to let you know, or I'm trying to psychologically signal to you that you're being surveilled 24-7. Well, guess what? God in heaven is watching everyone 24-7, 11-11. God in heaven is watching us 24-7, 11-11. Come on, man. They're watching us. God's watching us, too. Like, come on, man. They, they, like, God is watching us more than they watch us. God's watching everyone, them, us, the squirrels, birds, bees. God's, God could even see the things at the bottom of the sea. God can see the things at the bottom of the sea. You think God's not watching us? You think God's not watching them? You don't think he see what they doing? He does. He sees what they're doing, so have no fear. God is with you. He's omnipresent. Omnipresent is here, there, and everywhere. The devil got to pretend that he's omnipresent. That's why they gang stalk you. The devil uses people to gang stalk you because he's trying to portray the, 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 the same energy and the same presence of God. God can be anywhere and everywhere. The devil has to use his minions, people popping up here, there, the corner of your eye, around the corner, back again. He got to make people seem like they're all over the place and they're all like all knowing because he's trying to make you think that he has the same power as God, but he don't. It's just the devil using people who are broken vessels, open to be possessed by negativity and evil. That's all. That's all. All right. So when you're out in public, that's how you know people are watching you. And even if they are unaware that the fact that they're being energy vampires, they may be unaware, but the act is evil. How are you going to say that about me? I didn't, I didn't even know I was doing it. It's evil. You're, you're, you're being used and you're, you're uh, waging war on somebody's mind. N trying to act like you don't see them and ignore them, but you're, you're aware of their every move and their whereabouts and what they're going to do next. And you even go do it before they do it. Talking about you don't know what you're doing or something's wrong with this person, but you're watching their every move. No, it's nothing wrong with that person. There's something wrong with you. You're sick. You're demented. You're twisted. You need to find a passion, a purpose. You need to get a damn life. Watching somebody else and, and, and trying to persecute them and make them second guess themselves, putting through, putting them through all these unnecessary things. But guess what? It may seem unnecessary, but it's very necessary because they're leveling you up. They're waging war on your mind for you to be able to be the, the, the uh, fierce warrior of all time. I said God is using them to wage war on your mind for you to become the most furious warrior of all time. And you're, you're mentally get, getting prepared to be able to destroy these people on an astral plane, on a spiritual level. You're going to be, when, when, the, when the cookies hit the fan, you're going to be destroying these people mentally. And you're already going to be mentally prepared you're already going to be mentally prepared. People are going to have to come to you to mount up. Autobots. <laughs> Autobots, unite. 
you're gonna you're gonna be uh you're gonna be you you're gonna be uh what's his name uh what's that you're gonna be uh what's that guy's name the the head Autobot I forget his name after you're gonna be Optimus Prime baby you're gonna have your smoke screen you're gonna have your bumblebee you're gonna be Optimus Prime in this thing okay Alpha and Omega. You got a direct connection to the Alpha and Omega while everybody else just wants to play around and 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 be goofies. Everybody want to play around and be a goofy goober and you focused on God. Everybody want to worry about this and focus on that and focus on him, her, and everything else and you're focused on God. You got a mind like none other. They want to think it's something they want you to think it's something wrong with you, but you're the only person thinking with your right mind. Because you're focused on God. They're not worried about God or focused on him or what's right or wrong. But they're saying there's something wrong with you and that they're right. What type of ass backwards stuff is that? How to know you're being watched in public by monitoring spirits. You go out and you buy something and you may not even buying it today, but there's somebody in front of you buying it in a bulk load. Somebody in front of you trying to pull out all their money. Somebody in front of you. You you may you may not even have two dollars to your name, but you're able to, by the grace of God, you're able to go to the store every day and get the little things that you need. And because of that, these people see that you're rich. They might be watching you on social media. They might be seeing your positive things that you post. I'm rich, I'm wealthy. They gotta come prove it to you that they're rich and wealthy. This is how you know you're being watched. People watch you, watch the things you buy when you go out to places. They hurry up to get in front of you and buy the things that you like. They're trying to signal that they're, they're trying to they're gaslighting you and trying to play with your mind. But it don't bother you no more because you've already been through it all. You've already been through everything. God took you through the ringer because he knew you was going to shine and be famous. He knew you was going to be great. He knew you was headed towards greatness. So he said, you know what? I might as well make them. I might as well make them be prepared for it now. So that way, when they when they become the person that I put them on this earth to become, they'll be able to handle all the weird, crappy, crazy lunatics that are trying to come at them. Because that's what these people are. They're lunatics. They're not outside getting the sun. They're not outside in nature. They're not outside healing. They're lunatics. And they want to say there's something wrong with us. They, they really got some nerve, don't they? They want to say there's something wrong with us when they're the ones that got the problem. We're right. <laughs> we're, we're more than right. We're far more than right. It's something wrong with them. When you harass somebody, you follow somebody, you, you, you're stalking somebody, you have a mental illness. That's not normal. That's not healthy to try to make somebody feel insecure, scared, fearful. It's something very demonic about that. And that's how you know you're being watched. When you could feel the negative energy coming from people in their cars, and you, it's, it's not just in your head. You're not just seeing it. That's how you know you're being watched. Before you could even get to a place, somebody pulling up there, somebody not even getting out their car or going inside. They just they pulled up the same time as you. They pulled up and they just sitting in their car, and you could feel them watching you. They didn't even go in the store. They just sitting there in the parking lot because you went in the damn store. These things are real. They might even turn their lights on. People driving past you or people coming near you with their car, flashing their lights, letting you know that they're worried about you. They're focused on you. This is what gang stalkers do. It's, it's all They got the same playbook, all of them. They do the same weird things. It's, it's Satan using them. All right, Just like chosen ones all go through the same thing, these demons are all aware of what all these other demons do. They know it inherently. They psychologically just know this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm evil. And these are these are the people you want to change. They ain't going to change. It's best to change yourself and make yourself better. Screw them. Let them be as evil as they want to be. And you continue to work on yourself and be as great as you want to be. And you can leave them and their evil self behind in the dust. They go, they're going to be playing games with themselves in the sane asylum while you're going to be on a boat somewhere in France. Sipping wine and and uh, uh, eating some 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 uh some uh eating eating the best food that God wants you to experience, wearing the finest clothes, all right, having the, uh, having the finest jewelry, all right, that being in the the best scenery, seeing the best scenery, being in the best location, the best environment, the best of everything. We as a chosen one and somebody that believes in God, you deserve the best. You deserve all the the greatness that God has to offer is for you. 
everything that, that's good that is on this earth, that this earth has to offer that's good and righteous is for you. All right. This is how you know you're being watched by people. All right. People will copy you. People will move the same time you move. People will show up wearing the same thing as you. It may you, you, you may just be wearing the same color every time you go out. That's your business. But the fact that people put themselves in front of you to let you know that, hey, I'm wearing the same thing as you, even if they don't, when you see people out in public that got on the same thing as you, and this is something that you wear a lot, it's because they're watching you and paying attention to you. You don't think nothing of it, but it's just something that you do. But they're weird. They're, they're a little creepy. All right. They're, they're, they have a stalkish behavior and it's a game for them. It's, it's, it's joy for them. It's, it, they get fun out of it. They're trying to, they're trying to get at your, they're trying to get into your head and affect you psychologically. I'm going to go out to the same place as you be in the same area as you and be dressed like you. And the only person that's going to know it is me and you and the other people that are up on the gang stalking or the vampirism. And it's like, it's fun for these people to, to do these things because they know that they're attacking your mind, but it's up to you to develop your mind to a point to where these attacks no longer affect you. All right. And this, this is, this is, this is how, this is how you uh, get over these things. All right. This is how you get over the creepy, uncomfortable vibes. All right. You have to realize that these people aren't going to change. They're not better than you, and it's because you're better than them. They're trying to attack you. So imagine you being six. Imagine you being Shaq size, and somebody Allen Iverson coming to attack you. If you weren't aware that you were Shaq, even Shaq, even a person Shaq size would be afraid and be like, "Oh, don't hurt, don't touch me, don't hurt me." But when you're aware, you, when you're aware, it's like you coming into the knowledge that wait a minute, I'm Shaq. Somebody Allen Iverson size, I could step on you. You'll come to the awareness that you can step on these people because you have a power that they don't have. When they're working for the devil and they're on the other side, they don't have the strength that God can give them. They don't have the power that God can give them, and you do. That's something that's very powerful and something that you don't need to sleep on. All right, God is not just some big, great man in heaven. God is the great, big man in you. And that, that presence of God, that, that feeling of God, that Holy Spirit is with you all the time moving with you and fighting battles for you and destroying evil for you, killing enemies for you. All right. Uh, uh, making you uh, aware of certain negativity, that power is always with you. So don't, don't deny that power, right? Always know that that power dwells within you. That power lives within you and you have nothing to fear. There's nothing or there's nobody or nothing to be afraid of on this earth. You have to know that with God, you won't fear anything. With God, you won't have to be afraid of anything. You have to know that. There's nothing to fear. There's nothing to be afraid of. There's no one to fear. There's no one to be afraid of. Because you have the power and the presence of God in you. You have to believe that and know God is with you just like a shirt that you got on. God is with you just like your phone. God is like, God is like, you know how you have your phone on you? That's how you need to be aware of the presence of God on you. Just like how you don't leave without your phone, don't leave without you knowing that you have the presence of God on you. Just like you got your, just like you, I got, where's my, I got to have my phone. I got my phone on me. I got my charger. You may have your phone and your charger on you, but do you have God on you? The person that's going to always revitalize you and keep you charged up for life. Make sure you have that God on you. I got my phone on me. Do I have my God on me? Do I have God in me? Am I working with God today? Am I aware of the presence and power of God on me, in me, through me, uh, as me, and of me? All right, people are watching your every move. All right, you're going to have people that will just follow you, do weird things, and it's going to be uncomfortable at first, but once you realize and come into the reason why they're doing these things, they're doing these things to compete with you. They're doing these things to try to steal your light. They want people to look at you, to, to look at them the same way they look at you. They want to go to the same place you go to before you do because they think they're stealing your energy. I could walk in the door before him. It does That doesn't change the fact that you're still there. It may get on your nerves. They may have took a little moment from you when you were about to do something and then they go to do it. It's annoying. It's weird. 
it, it makes you question your reality. It's like, why would you go to open the door? Why would you go to do something when I go to do it? These people have no life and they have no personality. This is what they do. All right, they're jealous of you because you're focused on yourself and you're not paying attention to them. Something that the, the devil is has always dealt with with God. The devil always wanted to try to get the same admiration as people gave God, but that they, any wise man is not going to do that. Any wise mo- woman is not going to do that. It's the same thing with people in this world. They're trying to get your attention and they're trying to give get you to give them the same attention that you give God because they have that devilish spirit in them because they are of their father just like you are of your father. So you really have to know who you are and where you come from and what type of energy and spirit that you're a part and that you have. All right. You have the spirit of God. You're holy. You have a, 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 a angelic presence. You got a, a, a holy aura, a pure aura, and you're around negative people that are trying to steal that, uh, dim that, damage that, make you not act in that, make you uh, negative. All right. They want you to have a bad experience. They want to affect you in a way to where you think that that's going to happen to you every time. So now they're uh, getting you to negatively reprogram your subconscious mind because this is the matrix and whatever you see for yourself or think for yourself is what you get. They want you to think that these things are going to happen to you every time you go out in public. As you start to break these things down and defeat them, it's going to happen to you less. But when it does happen and you're aware of it, it's not even going to affect you like that. You're going to be like, okay, there goes a clown. Okay, there, there are those, there good, there goes those weirdos. Whatever, it's like you're not like you're never gonna stop living your life because of these people. You only do because you're unaware and you're angry and you're upset when you're first starting to have this happen to you or be aware that it's happening to you. You want it to stop. It makes you mad. It don't stop. You kind of are aggravated by it. You're kind of upset by it because it's it's petty behavior and you don't act like this to people. So it's like, if I don't act like this to people, why are people going out into public purposely acting like this to me? It's because it's something that they see in you and they want you to, they, they, they don't want it to exist. They want you to stop coming out in public. They're jealous of you when you come out in public. These are the people that are trying to force themselves on you and make your life miserable every time you're out in public. And they all work together spiritually. They all know who you are spiritually. So they have to treat you like this as random people. They'll do it at different times. They'll do it simultaneously. They'll do it whenever, whenever you're out in public and they see you and here they come, just be aware of like, okay, when I go out in the public, I know it, it's a potential that I may see these type of people, but God is with me. All right. I know that people love me. I know that I'm positive. I know that people like me. I know that I'm a positive person. I'm a lovable person. I'm a loving person. I'm a likable person. People like me and I like other people. All right, these devils will try to make you think that the whole world is out to get you and is against you. This is how you know people are watching you in public. They don't want you to have a positive experience, so they follow you, they monitor you, and they want to control how you are um, reacting out in the real world. They want to control your responses, and they want instead of you responding to them and things, they want you to react. People will follow you around your neighborhood. All right, I done had the same people. I would walk to this one particular place. I would walk from where I was at to the store every time, or not every time, but say like maybe four times out of the month, a car, this maroon truck would just go right past me while I was walking through the intersection. It would cut me off and almost hit me, and I would get angry. I'd do the little, you know what I'm saying, the little flip the bird, all this stuff, and it's like, that did nothing for me. This person upset me, went off, lived their life, and was gone. And my little crooked middle finger, my little butt, my butt, it didn't do nothing. So the fact that I would be upset and give them my little crooked middle finger and this little spirit, little spirit gun, you know what I'm saying? The, I could have prayed that away. I could have talked to God about that. I could have said, peace be unto you. And I let the, I let, I would let that thing ruin my whole night because I'm like, man, this person's watching me and this, that, and the other, and this, whatever. Who cares if they do that? They're a-holes. They're stupid. They have no life and they're losers. We're going to live our life and we're going to enjoy our life and we're going to be successful and we're going to keep working towards what God has for us. And they're going to keep working for the devil, being jealous, not liking it and watching us win. At some point, you have to realize, be like, wait a minute, they're haters. Their job is to watch me win. I'm just going to win. I'm not going to be upset that they're mad that I'm winning. That's their negative energy. I don't have nothing to do with that. I'm going to use my intuition. I'm going to use my intuitiveness 
and separate myself from that. And, and once I realize that that energy is not mine, I can live my life and I can live in peace. Other, See, you're bombarded with so much negative energy as an empath without the proper information. You don't know what to do with it. You don't know if that energy is yours or not, but it's not yours. It's other people's and it's hate. They are hopping out the car with hate. As soon as you walk in the store, somebody hopping out of their car trying to beat you to the damn door. Somebody walking out of their car trying to make sure that you see them. That person's a hater. How you gonna make how are you gonna try to make sure that you see somebody? How are you gonna make sure somebody sees you but ignore them at the same time? These people are jealous and they're haters. All right, so this is what they do is demonic behavior, it's jealous behavior, it's devilish behavior. That's what that's that's the type of stuff that got Satan kicked out of heaven. Imagine you're God, you created everything. You got this person that's beautiful, you got this person with glowing hair, blah, 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 they're killing the music, just playing some ill ass music. And they just this like imagine Satan just playing the most beautiful song ever and just walking past God like God don't exist and like God didn't create him to do that. God's like, oh no. Everybody looking at God like, oh God, you gonna let that happen? He said, Oh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna let that happen. To hell with you. <laughs> he sent that motherfucker straight to hell. And that's pretty much, that's really how it is. And that's why you get angry around those people because you know that they belong in hell and you know they're demons and they're devils. All right. And you know they worship, they, you know they are of their father, just like you know you're of your father because you know them by the fruit that they bear, their works, their barren, rotten fruit. All right. They, they're, they're bearing stank fruit. That's why when they come around, their energy is so awful. All right. So, a lot of these people, they do things to try to aggravate you. They do things to get on your nerves, but it's up to us to not get aggravated and to handle these things like the greater person that we are, the God that we are, the goddess that we are. You know, if you are, if you're a lady, all right, fellas, the God that we are and just making sure that we stay on the higher level and don't allow them to bring us down to their level. That's really all it's about. A lot, of, a lot of jewels dropped in this video, a lot of powerful information dropped in this video. Hit that like button, hit that share button, share this with somebody who you know could use this vital information for your mind. All right, and I'll see you back next time. It's been another Drew 2 special. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels, the Galactic Family, and Drew Nation. And I'll see each and every, every, every uh, soul, brother, and sister in the next video. Shout out, shout out to each and every one of y'all. Peace, love, and light. We out.